What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Black RVers Podcast. <laughs> we are your hosts. That was very. Uh, we are your hosts. Energetic. Uh, Fox and Miles. Uh, Hola. Miles, this is Fox. How Hi. you doing? How you doing, Fox? I'm good. It's thunderstorming. Yeah, it's raining a little bit. So it's gonna cool off, Hopefully. which is wonderful. That's the thing, you know. Sometimes it'll rain. Then it'll get super Muggy. humid afterwards. Yeah. In the DMV, if you're from the DMV, yeah. you know what we're talking about. Yeah. It's a swamp. It's a yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, on the East Coast, America. On the East Coast, yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but anyways, <laughs> hi again, guys. Hola. Um, start off with all the, the introductory formalities. stuff. Formalities, yeah. So thanks again for everybody who's been watching our stuff and supporting yes. us. Liking, subscribing, and commenting. We really, really do appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We do. Um, special shout out one to our patrons. Yes. Who continue to help us continue this adventure. Brought to you in part by by the our patrons. patrons. Yes. Appreciate you guys Yay. a lot. Seriously. Yes. Like, um, it's very encouraging and um, definitely helps us to keep doing mm -hmm. what um, we're able to do. Yeah, it does. And gives us the opportunity to continue to share things with you guys. And, um, Make that stuff happen. Yeah. Another uh, special shout out. Shout out to all the people on the Black Art Beers yes. Facebook group. Yes. We you guys are all. awesome. Yes. And we've, we literally, we've only been doing this RV life thing for a year. Yeah. And there's like over a thousand people in the Black Art Beers yeah. Facebook group. Like that's, that's wonderful. That's it's crazy. A lot more experience than us. Yeah. yeah a lot like more and just coming out of the woodwork. Knowledge like, to offer. Like, I, don't, I don't understand. But it, it's, it's great. And I'm, I'm great grateful that um everybody's using it and seeing it benefit yes. seeing it as a beneficial thing whether yes. you do rv you're aspiring to rv mm -hmm. whether you're a weekend warrior um whether you only you're seasonal whether you're full-time mm -hmm. or you, even if you're participating in any other mm -hmm. uh, nomadic um yeah. journeying um as a black person we appreciate you Y'all hear and that? so does the thunderstorm. It's thundering. So, <laughs> um, again, just wanted to shout you guys out. And yes. again, thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. And thank you for sharing. Yeah. That's awesome. Definitely, definitely. Um, so today, on today's podcast, um, we are going to talk about what we would do differently mm -hmm. if we were to, um, I guess, go Are back in time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go back, go back in time. time. With the knowledge we, we have now. Yeah, with the knowledge that we have now. So, yeah. for those who don't know, this was a learning experience. It was an experiment. There were a lot of things yes. we got wrong. We learned a lot through trial and error. Yep. Um, we made a lot of mistakes. And uh, hopefully, we've learned from those mistakes. I think yeah. we did. I think I we think learned so. a lot. Yeah. Um, even from people like leaving comments and stuff on the videos yeah. and stuff, oh, like yeah. letting us know we didn't stuff we didn't we didn't know before. Yeah. Um, just ignorantly just plugging stuff in and not needing yeah. knowing you needed a surge protector or anything yeah. like that. There's so much stuff that we've learned and gathered just from comments alone. Yes, so thank you like, for that too. And I, I'm, again, grateful for that, even on the YouTube channel and stuff, because I know other people go and read those comments. Mm -hmm. So all of that wisdom and information that you're you guys share, people. you're helping lots of other people. Yes. So we really appreciate the little community that's yeah. been growing around the channel. So thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, so I guess... What do you want to do? You would just want to like list things that we would have done differently? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I would have saved a little bit more, more money. We saved, how many months was that? Like six months? Uh, it's probably like three or four. No, I mean like four, six months. We saved money. Oh, right? probably. So, so we moved out of, um. I mean, we were already saving before that. So oh yeah, we were. We were saving You're right. before that. You're and right. then it was kind of like. You're right. We're going to RV. Yeah. Oh, true? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to save some more money for that. Yeah. yeah. So I think we saved maybe like three months worth yeah. of money, like all together. Yeah. Like I'm talking about living expenses. So like bills, loans, that's our big bill. Yeah. Um, cars, yeah. groceries, gas. And we were just kind of like, you know, yeah. guessing with the gas. And yeah. stuff. We weren't really prepared to know how much gas we would no. spend. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think we would have, I would have saved like at least a year's worth of money. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. because we went out with the hopes of gaining employment and like working on the road and some mm -hmm. of that stuff just didn't pan out. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, so we had to take out more money, yeah. um, while we were out there to really just help yeah. us live. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's one thing I would change. Um, I probably would have probably secured a more mobile or remote job before leaving. Yeah. Um, so like our businesses and things that we were starting up. I think I would have waited till they were a little bit more secure. Yeah. And more, not not even just secure, but more um, consistent. Mm -hmm. So whether it was my voiceover stuff or like you and your music and your art and things mm -hmm. like that, something that was more consistent mm 
yeah. becoming. Because, yeah, with any business that you start as an entrepreneur or whatever, there are lulls. Mm -hmm. So you want to be ready, which goes hand in hand with, like, saving. Yes. Um, you want to be ready for the lulls. Yeah. And you want to make sure that the lulls are as short as they can be. Absolutely. So, you know, if you have more reoccurring or, or consistent uh, ways of making money or whatever, mm -hmm. especially remotely, mm -hmm. hey, Take it with that, you. that that helps a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I also wouldn't travel as much as we did in the beginning. Yeah. On the beginning, we were just like, what was it? Maybe like we spent a week in one place if and that. like, if that, and move to the next place. Yeah. One, because we had deadlines. Like we had to be in Austin for a conference. Yeah. We visited some family and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. That um, was probably the biggest thing. Like we, yeah. we knew we were going to get, get to Austin for the conference, but we like jam packed yeah. everything in between when we were leaving in the conference. Yeah. So we just like, how much can we do before we yeah, get there? Exactly. Like, probably and that ate idea. up a lot of our energy, yep. um, ate up a lot of our resources. So money, yes, yeah. but also like, I feel like we wore down our tires and stuff like that too. Like we weren't able to take, I would start out with a slow pace. Mm -hmm. and that's the thing that we learned from RVing too, is just to take life slower. Yeah. I think, you know, here it's kind of like, oh, we got to go. Everyone, you know, there's, <laughs> There's yeah, always some place to be yeah. at a certain time, and but yeah. like while we were RVing, we weren't really in a rush no. for anybody, and yeah. that's something like we talked about with Miss Lisa again in our last um, interview video. Yeah. But there's no rush. Yeah, we make this schedule. We determine when we want to yeah. go somewhere and when we don't, unless yeah. you have like a conference or something. Right, right, yeah. But other than that, there's no need to rush. But we were rushing a lot, like yeah. trying to see everything and do everything and yeah. eat everything. Yeah. Um, and it started to become like exhausting. Yeah. And it wasn't until like the last leg of our trip when we were in like I guess. Where is that? Like New Mexico, New Mexico, Colorado, and Colorado. Yeah. Um, that region mm -hmm. that we actually started taking life slower. We yeah. were staying in like national parks for two yeah. weeks and not doing much. Yeah. Um, and it just felt good to like slow down yeah. and just breathe. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that, I, I would I would agree with that, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's definitely supposed to be one of the benefits of a nomadic life. Yes. Um, the freedom and the opportunity to be able to slow down. Yeah. I think another thing I would do is try to plan out actually meeting up with people. So other RVers, um, to the best of your ability, because I feel like we started developing more relationships once we started mm -hmm. going on the road. But even while we were doing that, maybe trying to figure out ways that we can meet up with people or, mm -hmm. or form out, what are they they're called? Like, I guess troops? Caravans. Or caravans, yeah. yeah. So joining caravans so that you don't feel as alone yeah. or you have the opportunity to be able to learn from other people while you're on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And I, I think part of that is because we didn't really have a following like mm -hmm. that, like for people to, like we just met people because we started posting videos and stuff yeah. randomly, mm -hmm. um, and which is amazing. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think in the beginning, because, you know, at some point we just had like five followers. It's like, oh, yeah. well, we don't know nobody. We're right, just out right. here doing it. Yeah. And of course you see other people are being like on YouTube yeah. and stuff like that, but they seem so, it just seems like they're so unreachable. And what yeah. we realize now is that's not true. Yeah, that's like, not the case. That's not the case. Yeah. Like, so if you are for curious. For most people probably. Yeah, for most people. I don't, don't want to speak yeah, of it's not everybody. everybody. Yeah. But, you know. But um, but for the for the most part, um, if you are curious about doing this and you see other people doing it, reach yeah. out to them, yeah. ask them, because that's something we probably should have done beforehand. Yeah, and that's the beauty of the internet mm -hmm. that all those people are accessible mm -hmm. um, through whatever me means, whatever social media or email or YouTube or whatever. Mm -hmm. You should be able to contact whoever you want to contact because we get messages and stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. So and comments and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Um, something else I probably would have done differently. I probably would have rented. An RV before, before we just bought it. We didn't really. We stayed. We stayed in an Airbnb in yeah. South Carolina in Charleston. Yeah, it was a like a fifth wheel. Oh, yeah, fifth wheel. It was like a Winnebago, and it was nice. It was yeah. nice, and we just wanted to see if we could like imagine ourselves living in it. Yeah. For however long we were gonna live in an RV. Yeah. But the only thing is, is that it's a fifth wheel. Right. And it had yeah. more space in it. Yeah. It had more space in it than um, our twenty-eight foot Class yeah. C, mm -hmm. which has like everything in it. Um, and I think, and their bathroom was bigger too. Yeah. Yeah, it was way bigger. Definitely. Um, but I think it would have been beneficial, like, to either go to Cruise America and just mm -hmm. rent the RV to be like, hey, do I actually want to purchase this? This is yeah. what I like. Can I drive this? Yeah. Is it too much? Um, and really, like, do, like, a trial run first, maybe for, like, a week, if you can afford it. Yeah. Um, because it gets pretty expensive. Yeah, they get pretty pricey. Yeah, but a way yeah. around that, well, I don't even know if that's, like, RV Share, they mm -hmm. have that, too, where you can rent from people. It's like, right. um, it's like Airbnb, except for RVs. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but that gets kind of pricey, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I probably would have wanted to rent out the RV 
like for us yeah if we had the money but we were trying to scrape and scram trying yeah. to put all this money yeah because i mean at that point it was a pretty much a solidified idea mm-hmm. so it wasn't like well, we should test this out mm-hmm. no we're like all right we're gonna do it because yeah. we were, you know felt like we didn't have any other options so like this is the thing that we need to do mm-hmm. so that we can be okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i mean you know for us it turned out pretty good we didn't hate mm-hmm. it <laughs> So, yeah, no, I don't think so at all. I no. mean, outside of like, which would happen if you were living in any other condition, conditions is like crazy stuff happening or st- uh, the unpredictable things yeah. happening. So like tires, flat tires, right. stuff breaking yeah. or whatever, like that happens that anywhere. Happens. Yeah. yeah. So like even when we had a um, water leak mm-hmm. that happens in houses, mm-hmm. like pipes burst or whatever, or toilet overflows. There are inconveniences that you don't want to deal with. Yeah. But they happen. Yeah. And you can't predict them because they're unpredictable inconveniences. Yeah. But that's just life. And that doesn't necessarily have to put a damper completely on um, your experience or what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But it, it depends on the person because for some people, it's like, no, nah, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Yeah. And uh, I think that's good too, though, because um, us actually going out there and doing everything kind of blind, more or less helped us get a better understanding of what RV life is like. Yeah, like and, crash course. Right, exactly. Fast. And how that, you know, how do we really feel about it? Because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, our perspective has changed and mm-hmm. what we plan on doing and how we plan on RVing from here on out is different. Mm-hmm. For um, now. For now. I mean, and that's mainly based off of what we did and mm-hmm. what we experienced and stuff, but we wouldn't have known that if yeah. we didn't exactly. Yeah, exactly. make that transition. And I just kind of want to reiterate that, like, that slower pace of life. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely something I would have changed. And with that slower pace of life, I think I would have, which I guess goes into money, too, tried, like, um, work, work stay? What is it? Work? um, Like, work camping. Work camping. Yeah. So we tried it. We tried, we applied, but I think when we applied, like, the season was over. So in Colorado, like, the seasons are over like that. Like, maybe in October, it's done. Yeah. In in October to maybe, like, April? It's like Probably, snowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And, and it really depends. Like, sometimes it can be last minute. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, what we were doing was more or less last minute. Oh, yes. A lot of times people plan that stuff out far in advance. Mm-hmm. You know, like, in the fall, they're planning their spring yeah. or their summer. Yeah. So they're trying to apply and get that set up for the next coming season, not in that season. Yeah. Because a lot of the responses that I got from places is like, we've already hired people and there's no more room or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they would suggest, you know, maybe applying mm-hmm. for next year's season. So. And at the time, it's like, uh, girl, we need somewhere yeah, to we'll, work yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, for those who don't know, work camping is essentially like you go to, so say they have a camp, they have yeah. a campsite. You get free hookups, um, sometimes free stay, Mm -hmm. and sometimes they pay you. So you can stay there and get paid if you work the offices, if you clean, if you, like, you know, manage the sites. When we went to Assateague Island the first time, there was a couple there who, like, I guess, like, chaperone this one area. And so they make sure it's, like, clean and people can ask them questions and stuff. And I think in return they get free stay. Right. So we were looking for somewhere free to stay and also potentially to make money yeah so that's something i would do different too yeah. and, it, and it allows you to stay in one place and really like explore the place that you're at yeah you know for if you want to stay for six months or eight right. months or however long the season is right um like i said in colorado the seasons were short yeah so we would be able to park there and like just have a great time yeah. while we're in the area yeah so yeah um uh, what else we do differently hmm i guess we can talk about like the I guess I can bring up the fact that a lot of people corrected us on, like, buying, like, things that we needed beforehand. So, like, mm-hmm. power surges, you oh, don't yeah. plug straight into the yeah, don't. into the don't site do by the grace of God. <laughs> yeah. We have no yeah, we haven't problems. had any problems. But, yeah, you don't want Even your ignorantly. system to yeah. be fried. Yeah. Because you're plugging into uh, a bad outlet, yeah. more or less. Yeah. Because that'll yeah. jack up your system. Also, um, a water. Filters. Filters. Yep. Um, to manage the pressure too. Yeah. And the water, because they said sometimes yeah. the pressure can be too high. Yeah. Which again, by the grace of God, we yeah, had no have problems. Any issues. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything, there's nothing that I could have prepared for. You know what I mean? Maybe a better dolly. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, our dolly worked for us yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but I think before leaving, we probably would have had it. Yeah. You know, like actually purchase the dolly. Yeah, because we didn't we didn't ride together until we got to Ohio. Yeah. So we drove from the DMV 
to West Virginia to through Pennsylvania to Ohio. Yeah. yeah. And um so we were separate for like hours at a time. It wasn't a big deal, but it was a waste of gas. Like that's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. So um yeah, Wazza wasn't a long drive and you know, yeah. we just when we were tired we just pulled over and yeah. got an R V. Yeah. It was still like a lot of gas. Yeah. So we probably would have yeah. paid that anyway for a dolly all together. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, we got a good deal because we found ours on Craigslist or whatever. So, I mean, it worked out for us. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think that would be something I would do mm -hmm. to make sure that we have a dolly before yeah. we left. Yeah. yeah. And I would have seen more stuff. I would have stopped longer. I would have, you know, uh, not been in such a... It, it just took a minute for my mindset to change from, like, the fast DMV culture to, mm -hmm. like the slow pace of our being mm -hmm. and the slow pace of like you don't have to go anywhere and I keep saying this because it's really important because I think if you're thinking about taking life slower yeah. the the mishaps and the thing they don't bother you that much because yeah, yeah. you know it doesn't feel like an inconvenience because right. you're not really going anywhere right. it yeah. might be an inconvenience because you don't feel like fixing it or you don't feel like yeah. paying for it yeah. but as far as like oh man like this is getting in the way of us you know getting where yeah, we need yeah. to be yeah. like we were in New Mexico um, on our way to Colorado mm -hmm. and the, that's I think that's like the third time our tires popped yeah, we on the road. Yeah, we had a tire, yeah. And so it was frustrating because, I mean, there was no side road to pull on to, so that was, yeah. it, was, it wasn't it was safe. Yeah. But it was a beautiful place that we were at. Mm -hmm. But the fact that the tires were popped and stuff, it just, it just kind of made you, like, miss. Yeah, I you mean, know what I'm at that point, though, I think we probably started slowing down. Because, mm -hmm. like you said, that was the third. But at this point, I was like... <laughs> God, are you trying to tell yeah, what you going to do? Like, <laughs> it's like, all right, whatever. We got everything we need. Yeah. So... Yeah. We need to. We'll just sit in this RV. Yeah. So. Yeah. And um, another tip from Miss Lisa. Would have brought an external propane thing. Yeah. External. So you yeah. can, like, attach an external propane tank mm -hmm. to... If you watched her video, she shows you yeah. where her propane is. Like, she yeah. can plug it there. So if, it's, if it gets cold, yeah. it doesn't eat up all the propane in the RV. So you don't have to keep moving the RV back and forth yeah. to go get filled propane all yeah. over again. It's you can super just take, convenient. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The last time we boondocked, um, we used the propane tank, mm -hmm. and we didn't have to turn on the electricity at all. Mm -hmm. And it lasted how many days? Mm, maybe four. Four. Four, four yeah. days? So. Yeah, and it, it probably would have, like, lasted longer. Mm -hmm. We were, I don't know, but we were having, there has been some, like, weird stuff that's happened in the RV, and we're like, what is What's going, going on? on? <laughs> yeah. But, um. I think if it wasn't a weird time, it probably could have lasted like all week. Yeah. It would have been fine. We almost lost the food again, guys. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. But you know, God is gracious. We open them things and realize, oh, snap, stuff is melting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think, but like I said, I think other than that, the other things I don't think we could have prepared for. I think no, it really no. is, sometimes you just have to learn by doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Like, and hopefully we can pass this wisdom on to other people and so mm. that they can be better prepared. Yeah. But you know, it's okay. I don't mind sacrificing my time and experience because I can say that yeah. I did it and I learned. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so when we get back on the road again, we know what to do differently this time. Yeah. We know what we want. We know the kind of RV we want, what we need to have inside. We know yeah. like what we don't need. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and we and also we know how we... Sorry. No, no. Um, we also know how we want to travel. Yes. Which I think is a really big thing. Yes. Like, Definitely taking it slower. Yeah. And having a better understanding of like what you want to do. Because like, I think, again, mention this, I think, uh, in another video about the space mm. and the size and how you want to utilize the space and the size. Because like, that changes things. Yeah. You know, like if you're working or whatever, you need to figure out, okay, what do I actually need? Yes. To be effective in the RV because it's different if you're just camping mm -hmm. or if you're just leisurely. Like, leisurely, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Like, yeah, but if you're like, oh, I'm working in this full time or right. I have to do this kind of work, whatever, right? That'll change it. Yeah, so, you know, keeping that in mind. Yeah, because at some point Miles was working in the like the dinette table, mm -hmm. and so because he was like doing voiceover stuff, I'd be working in the back on the bed, mm -hmm. and so that wears on your back and mm -hmm. your spine. Like your your posture sucks. Like you know, just think about little things like that, little small things yeah. like that. Um, is really important. So. Yeah. Or if Fox was working on music, mm -hmm. I would go and record in the car. Mm -hmm. Um, because can't I can't record? We neither one of us can right. record <laughs> if both of us are making sounds and stuff can like that. Can you imagine? Oh, that wouldn't be. That'd good. be a mess. Yeah. But yeah. So like I said, but if you do something else, then it probably doesn't matter. If you two are writers, yeah, you could say that that didn't work together. Like yeah. just write together. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I, I can't think of anything else. We'll probably think of something else to make a part two. Yeah, maybe <laughs> of things that we would do differently. Yeah, probably cook more too in the beginning. I ate, I, we ate a lot, and we talked about this before, but, yeah. we ate, but it was, like, I was sad. I was like, I need comfort food, I need <laughs> things, yeah. you know, that I'm used to, and something that's normal. And that's the yeah. thing, like, something, like, Burger King is consistent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the mall is consistent. Yeah. Not that I have to buy anything, but just going there reminds me of home, because yeah. the mall is the same everywhere you go. Right, yeah. Um, or Target is the same everywhere you go. Yeah. And so I think because we were, I was, you know, emotionally eating or experiencing things, mm. I think, um... If I was in a better place mentally, I probably wouldn't have, one, spent that much money, but also ate um, healthier. Right. So. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Yes. Um, let us know for yeah. those who are being or have been RVing or anything like that. Yeah, leave what, what, what you something, would do. Yeah, what's something that you, like, when you look back on it, like, yo, I would definitely do this differently. Yeah. I, or I I wouldn't do that at all. Yeah. You know, like anything. Just let us know in the comments. Um, again, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. Yes, and, and um, journeying with yeah, us. Yeah, continuing the journey with us on this uh, adventure and continue to support us. Special shout out again to the patrons. You guys rock. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for supporting us and uh, helping us be able to continue this adventure. Yes. Yeah. So yes. until next time, be safe. Stay Please. well. Yes. Wear your mask. Yes. And uh, and um, much wash love. your hands. Yeah, definitely wash your hands. <laughs> and be well. Yeah, even if the pan when the pandemic ends, still wash your hands. Y'all should've been washing your hands yeah. beforehand, yeah. but that's whole. Other wash discussion. your hands. Okay. Wash your hands. Okay. All right. We. Yeah. Tired of seeing y'all walk out the bathroom? No, we know it's not y'all, but there are people walking <laughs> out the bathroom, not washing their hands. You'd be like. Yeah. Just watch. Yeah. Anyways. <sighs> stay, stay safe. Be well. Much love. We'll yeah. talk to you guys later.